Hello and welcome. Bill and Priscilla back again to answer the important question, what does it cost us to live in Ajaic, Mexico? This is a major factor for anyone thinking about retiring overseas. In a previous video, we shared five reasons why we decided to spend some time in Ajaic to see if it really met our requirements, and today we're going to give you some examples related to grocery shopping. There are several cost of living calculators online. It's probably a good idea to check them out. But it really depends on one's lifestyle. For instance, if you really like to relax in the evenings with a cocktail or a glass of wine like we do, you'll find your expenses are going to be a little bit higher than some of the calculators indicate. One we think is worth checking out is Expatistan. You'll find the link below. Here's a short video on what we bought at a street market within walking distance of our house. Well, we just come back from the market and uh, Tiangas, well, we weren't supposed to go, but we had to get food, so they say you can go out and get food. So we did go to the market. Usually there's hundreds and hundreds of people there. Yeah. How many were there? Uh, shoppers, about yeah. 10. Yeah. And the number of stalls, which is usually over 50, there were about 10 stalls. There was yeah. a fish man, and we yeah. did get some fish, which is in the fridge, um, some mahi-mahi steaks to do on the barbecue tonight, and um, the rest of them were veggies and fruits and juice, and uh, somebody selling eggs as well. So we just want to give you an idea of what we managed to buy. What's the, everything in, the, in there for? Well, the vegetables, of course, are soaking in the special stuff to make sure that they get all the bugs off. And as you can see, look at this. I mean, all of these veggies, pretty much, and, it, and everything here, you probably spent $25, about $25 on all of this which is amazing. Pretty fresh. This, um, the orange juice. Oh, the orange juice lady. costs uh, about, on today's exchange rate, about two bucks. This, the raspberries, a dollar four. Strawberries, a bit more expensive, two fifty. The eggs were about two bucks. Now that's organic eggs too. It doesn't, yeah. Yeah. And he had lovely honey there, so when we're out of honey, we're yeah. gonna get that. Yeah. And then of course, bananas, pineapple, uh, melon. I like to take the pineapples and slice them thick and put them on the Barbie. Ooh, Just have, there's the Barbie right out there. Oh yeah, yeah, very nice. Okay. And then, you know, potatoes, zucchini. This is the local uh, Mexican type zucchini, which is absolutely fine. Carrots, um, just, you know, all of this stuff for 25 bucks. So what Let we do see is- that, that bottle. What do you got in that bottle back there? Well, this is the, uh, the stuff that you're supposed to wash all your veggies in. Now, I mean, I use uh, peroxide quite often. Um, because it, it's a disinfectant as well. So we've got enough veggies and fruits to last us quite a long time. And um, So we're not going back out for a while now? No, we don't have to. So when we come in, we take off our masks and our hat, we go out to the back porch where we hang the bags, take our shoes off, and um, just, you know, make sure that it stays out there in the heat for as long as yeah. well, a day or two, yeah. and then it, we disinfect everything. So hopefully, uh, even though we, um, you know, went out and co uh, connected with other people, not that close, but um, probably no, not. didn't do any hugging. Huh? No hugging. No hugging. Fist no pumping. Not shaking. even a fist pump. No. And most of the vendors were wearing masks as well. So, um, so we just wanted to show you that this is the kind of shopping that we do for. Uh, a two-week supply usually. Yeah. Okay, so we're locking ourselves back in again. Yep. Right. As you can see, the produce and the pricing are excellent. With around 10,000 American and Canadian retirees living full-time in Ahihik and another 5,000 during the winter months, this market is catered to by stores such as Walmart. Within walking distance of our house, as well as Costco and Sam's Club, about 45 minutes away in Guadalajara. Several local stores resell Costco and Sam's Club products at a markup, of course. This takes care of those who live here but do not have transportation to go to Guadalajara. The best way to eat inexpensively is to buy local ingredients at local stores. This doesn't mean you have to eat tacos every day, although we often buy fresh fish from the fish shop 
or street market and make our own delicious tacos. Large shrimp cost about $8 US a kilo, which is about 2.2 pounds, and they make great tacos too. Black beans and rice feature regularly on our menu, as does pork and chicken, all very reasonably priced. The beef is tasty, but not as tender as it is in the U.S., even if you buy it at Costco. Except when we first arrived and were stocking our pantry and fridge, we have found that our monthly food cost has been reduced by 35 to 40 percent. If you're not into cooking, you're in luck. There are literally hundreds of restaurants in and around Ahihik, all reasonably priced compared to the U.S. You could choose a different one each day and it would take you a while to sample them all. Lunch at a restaurant for the two of us averages 7 to 10 U.S. dollars and dinner 15 to 23 dollars. Right now, during the COVID-19 self-isolation period, many restaurants offer pickup or home delivery service. There's no question you'll save money on food and entertainment in Ahihik, but it all depends on your dietary preferences. Housing is by far the greatest expense, whether you choose to rent or buy. Join us again on a future video and we'll cover that subject and show you around the house that we've rented for a year. Don't forget to click the subscribe button for more videos about our life in Ahahik and Chapala Lakeside area.